Hi, good afternoon, church. Welcome to today's daily encouragement. It's a bit later than usual as I spend time on Tuesday uh, with our staff um, virtually, um, connecting with them, finding out how they're doing, also being able to look at what we need to do uh, for the week ahead. Um, so you're being well supported, church, by um, full time or part time uh, staff. Um, chatting to Lydia, who's been in uh, contact with some of you today, it's clear that uh, two weeks into uh, this lockdown, uh, some of us are starting to feel the strain. Uh, we're starting to feel the distance of not being able to connect with family and loved ones physically. Uh, or perhaps we're starting to feel the strain of having too much time with our family. Perhaps if you're uh, used to going out and working every day and you are locked in uh, with young children, you may be um, experiencing certain other difficulties. And then there are many, obviously, who have the strain of all the physical exertion uh, of what they're out doing um, to support us either in the NHS or key working. Um, I just heard from Chris Ballard in our, our lunchtime prayer meeting that he has uh, he's working late tonight and then he's up early again in the morning, go from nights to days in the same time. So lots of us are, are putting an awful lot of um, uh, effort into uh, tackling this um, disease in one way or another. Um, but it does remind us of our human frailty, and we've been looking at that a lot over the previous daily encouragements. We've been looking at uh, how God knows our weaknesses and therefore expects us to come to him for, for comfort and for strength, to come for Him to him in prayer, to, to rest and be still before him, knowing that he is ultimately in control, um, despite our uh, weakness and our human nature. I was in a web chat uh, last week with Steve Petch, who leads Welcome Church in Woking, and he was talking about the need to address uh, our humanity, to address the way that we as humans process uh, emotions. And he uh, reminded us of the uh, Kubler-Ross grief cycle. And I'm going to speak briefly through this and uh, carry on through a, a, a series of, of daily encouragements, looking at uh, different ways in which we've been affected by the coronavirus on a human level. Um, he said it's it's good to to have someone name the emotion that you might be feeling right now because sometimes we're just hit by circumstance and we can't we don't stop long enough to really identify what may be going on. So as I name some of these parts of the cycle, it may be that you identify things. You say, well, yeah, that's me. Um, I'm there. It's just to say this is a cycle that um, represents nearly every human's response is what they reckon every human goes through. And they go through this cycle at different rates. So you may be in a completely different place to your um, someone else in your house or another family member, and that's okay. Um, there is no speed at which you should process uh, things. We're all gonna be different. Let me start. So the first is denial. And many of us would have uh, recognized this, perhaps early on, perhaps you're still in it, a sense of, this isn't really happening or this is something that's happening in China. It's not going to happen here. And then when it happens here, well, you say it's not going to happen in Portsmouth or then you say, well, it's not going to affect those that I love. And at every stage, you try and put off having to deal with it by uh, denying the situation. When you do start to um, weigh up uh, what's actually going on, it can lead to anger or lead to a level of frustration or irritation or anxiety. And this may not be uh, necessarily anger towards God, but it may give you some insight as to why you're extra irritable with, with family members or why there's uh, just a level of pressure that seems to have increased and ramped up that's making you unable to cope with things you would normally cope with well. Uh, then you may um, dip into depression in one sort or another. Another You may feel overwhelmed. You may feel hostile or helpless. And then on the up curve, um, you may start bargaining, you may start reaching out to others and you may start wanting to tell your story. And that's really positive for us to uh, join with our, our new connections with our neighbours to be able to tell them our story. And when they start to uh, look for help, when they start to look for support. And then finally, there's acceptance where they start exploring options and uh, look to put new plans in place, look to move on. And, and uh, I just want to acknowledge that we probably try to go straight to the acceptance stage by providing you with all the spiritual resources to just get going with this, just, just make the best of it and, and perhaps haven't um, graciously led you through the other stages. So I just want to um, own up to that and say that we're, we're doing better now through a series. We're going to try and address some of these human things that you may be feeling and still bring biblical truth and biblical light uh, to help you in these times. 
Steve also went to mention uh, five different things that have been stripped away from us from coronavirus. And we're going to be looking at those in a series um, of daily encouragements now to see how we can bring biblical truth to those areas and how we can help you um, feel a bit more um, together at this disorientating time. So as I finish, let me read Hebrews 4 uh, verse 14. Therefore, since we have a high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in every way as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. God knows how you process emotion. God knows how you're feeling in the midst of this difficult, disorientating time. And yet he says, come to me, boldly come to me to receive grace and help at your time of need. Our God is the one who understands us from the inside out. You could bring to him your denial. You can bring to him your anger. You can bring to him your depressions. You can run to him in every way and receive the warm embrace and comfort of the Father. And that's my encouragement to you today. Please stay tuned to this next series of daily encouragements for more help in analysing where you may be at and how we can bring biblical truth to bear to help us in this time of need. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a good evening. I hope to see some of you on Zoom later. Thanks. God bless.